it's Oscar Sketches and welcome back to the Ultimate Elemental Animal Challenge Part 3. Alright, first up we have some revisions because I mentioned earlier that I wasn't really happy with the air elementals and their colour scheme so I reworked them a little bit based on uh, another air elemental that I drew and now I'm in love with them, I really really love how they look. Uh, I figured out what was missing, it was the contrast because the light uh, yellow and the light blue were the same tone so that's the issue and now it's solved and I really like how they look. This next one is Flint. Flint is the water zebra. And Flint is actually a lot newer than most of the elementals that I'm drawing in this video. Uh, and I think it's just because I made the spreadsheet with all the elementals uh, way after I designed already, uh, way after I've already, I'd already designed a bunch of them. So uh, I suppose it makes sense that I didn't think of them in the exact order that I designed them. But it's fine, I don't really mind. Uh, in the story he's a little bit older, so... Uh, it's fine, it's fine, I don't mind. <laughs> um, and uh, he was so much fun to draw. I don't know what it is with the water elementals, but some of them just don't really need a lot of shading. Uh, and that kind of throws me off a little bit. Uh, so when I do the uh, all the markings and everything, I'm like, is it is this done? Is this it? And then you know I try to add shading and it doesn't look good. And then I turn the shading layer off. And I'm like, it's much better without the shading. <laughs> um, but at the same time, then it feels like something's missing. Um, so then uh, I I solved this later by adding a gradient to the stripes, and that really made it look very very good. And I love it so much. I really really enjoy how you came out. I had so much fun just drawing the stripes. I always love drawing zebras because the stripes are so much fun to draw. Uh, I just, I love the, just the pattern, I guess. It's a really fun way to draw markings, uh, especially when, you know, they're a little bit thinner and then they turn a little bit wider. Goodness, zebras are so pretty. <laughs> so this is pretty much what he looks like when he's finished and now I'm adding shading and trying to work something out and it doesn't like the shading itself doesn't really look bad i just don't like it on this piece if that makes sense uh i feel like it messes with the gradient a little bit and uh, you just uh you know like this it looks fine i like this much better without the shading and on to the next one the next one is uh azalea and azalea is the fire vulture goodness me she's so pretty <laughs> Oh, I, she, goodness, I love big birds of prey because they, they're so huge, they have like huge wings and, and beautiful feathers and just these awesome like beaks and massive claws. They're so cool, they're so cool and they're so much fun to draw. Oh, I had just, just the sketch alone just gave me so much, just, it makes me so happy. <laughs> and then obviously adding a fire is gonna make everything even cooler. <laughs> That's usually what a fire does. Um, I really like the way that I was able to shade her because usually, okay, back when I was doing a lot of traditional art, I would draw her a lot, but I would make her uh, the same color as the fire, if that makes sense. So I just uh, have her feathers be like orangey and stuff. Um, and today I decided, hey, how about I do her in like ordinary vulture colors and then add the fire on top? I feel like, I felt like that would uh, really help with the, I know, like the colors because I didn't want it to be too monochromatic and I wanted the fire to stand out and be, you know, decently bright and stuff. And goodness, I love how the fire came out and I really, really like how it looks with the uh, ordinary vulture colors, I guess. <laughs> um, she. Okay, so at this point I was still kind of trying to figure out how to draw the fire, like I had a general method for how I wanted to do it, but I wasn't really sure. Uh, so her fire looks very angular and I, I like it, I like it a lot, but it's not really the way that I like to draw fire. Uh, I feel like, I, I do feel like it gives her a lot of character. Uh, and yo, it looks so bright and so, oh, super pretty. I, <laughs> I really, really like how she came out and um, I especially love uh, the little bit of lighting that made it all come together where I just added with an airbrush it just went over 
uh, certain parts of the uh, the drawing and I feel like that rim lighting whew, pulled it all together. Azalea is always fun to draw uh, and as I mentioned before the uh, fire elementals always take quite a bit of time however the earth elementals definitely take a lot more time <laughs> they they're so time consuming but they're so much fun oh i had i i'm not even kidding drawing eonis which is the earth elemental uh that i'm drawing here the earth elephant took forever like i oh, usually okay usually it takes me let's say half an hour to do a sketch half an hour eonis took an hour and a half it just it took so long <laughs> it took so long but it was so worth it it was so worth it because i was doing all these little details with the cracks and stuff because i wanted him uh to kind of resemble like really dry cracked ground and not, it's not necessarily rocks uh, as the other uh, as the other earth elementals that i've drawn so far and i had so much fun trying to figure this out and trying to really get that texture right and get the shapes right it was really really interesting to look at those references and see the way that they uh the way that those shapes are formed i guess and how it looks it was so so interesting and it's so much fun to capture but goodness it took so much time <laughs> So normally in these sketches or like this line work, I suppose, I don't really do a lot of black fills. Um, but with the, with this one, I feel like that was the exact thing that really made it come together. Oh, I had oh, so much fun with this. The, the colors gave me a little bit of trouble at first because I, like I said, I wanted him to resemble uh, cracked ground and not necessarily rocks. But at the same time, I did have like an idea of the uh, kind of values in the colors that I wanted which were more rock like um, but I, I feel like it worked out well in the end uh, I feel like uh, I, I struck a nice balance per se like I didn't use the exact uh, colors from my references uh, which I don't do normally anyway I just like pick based on the reference uh, I strayed a little bit more from the reference than usual for this one but I really still think that he looks so nice I, I love the way that he turned out I just he makes me so happy and after I did it so so then I, I figured out the colors and after that I just went ham again on the details because they're so much fun to do I uh, saw in my references as well that sometimes there was a little bit of grass poking out uh, and I had so much fun just adding those little bits of details and a little bit of moss uh, all these tusks and stuff and oh <laughs> Ooh, I love the way that he looks. He looks so pretty. I am I'm so happy with him. He took he took so long, but he was definitely worth it. And the next elemental is Chimea, and Chimea is the air goat. Okay, let's get the elephant out of the room first. <laughs> um, I know that female ibexes don't have horns that are this big. But I don't care because I want her to have the big horns. I don't like, okay, so horn growth is related to testosterone levels in uh, mountain goats and mountain sheep. Uh, I also have a female mountain sheep with big horns, so I, I don't care what you think about it. I'm gonna give them big horns because the big horns look cool. Um, <laughs> goodness, I, I, I don't know why I care so much, but I care so much about how accurate my animals are, and yet, you know, uh, suspension of disbelief, right? They can all be made of, of big rocks and they and fire and, and whatnot, but less. Oh gosh, but don't don't take it a, a step too far with with you know giving the the females big horns. Nah, -uh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> goodness me i i think she looks awesome uh i really like the way that i shaded her horns uh, i think they look really cool and this is where i did the revised color scheme and yes she looks so sick i it just i really, really like how she looks she makes me so happy she's so pretty <laughs> i had a lot of fun drawing her especially this pose because this pose is just so much fun it's so uh so dynamic and so cool I, I just love it. I really, really like how she looks. I think she turned out awesome. Uh, and then up next we have Yotta. And Yotta is 
the light hair and he also was just he I, I had such a blast drawing him because he, he was he went by so quickly he was so easy to draw I don't know why I just I had so much fun drawing him and he was just I oh, he was really nice and so easy and so just chill just you know sometimes you just you get into that flow and and you have such a blast just sketching and drawing and it's so much fun and it looks so pretty and i just i love all the details that i added in with all like the little fur textures and, and stuff and then obviously the coloring was really easy because it just did a baseline uh a base coat <laughs> with the uh, with the uh, the light yellow and deployed that blurred it uh, a little bit of yellow a um, little bit of white and then uh, that's it basically <laughs> not much more to it oh you look so cute and precious and i want to hug him <laughs> and the last one up today is duena and duena is the shadow doe and or the shadow <laughs> um i i think i oh she might be one of my favorite oh i don't know i love all of them i really really enjoy every everything everything that i've drawn so far they, they make oh, everything makes me so happy i'm so excited to just draw all my characters it makes me so happy and she looks so just so dynamic and so cool i just i i love how pretty and how oh man she's awesome i love the way that she turned out and if you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so so much for watching it all the way to the end uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more art videos every single Friday. Have a great weekend, guys, and keep on sketching. Bye!